Okay guys, um, this is my third time attempting to get this video out to you. Um, there's a problem with my internet service provider right now where they're telling me there's a lot of noise on my lines, which makes streaming a game live uh, difficult. I tried it yesterday uh, and I actually got the full half hour out, but it was a lot of portions of it are scrambled, so I'm going to try one more time. Um, while I have you here, a quick heads up, uh, I have an injury People, some people who watch this channel are aware of. Um, too much computer usage over the years it just means every once in a while this injury flares up, and it, when it does, I have to step back from using a computer uh, for a while. But fortunately, the ergonomics of the Xbox controller are different enough that I can still usually continue to use that. So for the next few days, you probably see only Xbox videos from me, if I, if I can get those out. If, if for some reason I stop broadcasting entirely, it's either because... Uh, the injury has meant I gotta stop using a controller as well, or because... Uh, it's just impossible to stream from the Xbox while they're repairing the lines. Let's give this game a try. Crypt of the Serpent King. I have no more purebred roguelikes available for the Xbox, uh, but I do have games that have roguelike elements, and this is one of them, so let's give it a shot. Crypt of the Serpent King. Let's go shut a door as well. One second here. There we go. At least part way. I don't want to wake up Tanya. Okay. Um, let's look at a how to play so you can see why it's a roguelike. Or not a roguelike. It's definitely not a roguelike. But wow, it's got roguelike elements. Don't worry about the controls, but the objective. Your main goal on each level is to defeat the final boss, which is in a locked room downstairs. Levels are randomly generated. Keys are found on altars spread throughout the level. They are required to unlock the gate to the boss room. Defeat enemies to gain experience points. At the start of each level, you can improve your attributes using experience points. Weapons are unlocked at the start of each level using gold, which can be collected from loot chests. Loot chests can also contain food, which can restore your health. If you take too much damage and run out of health, you will die. Um, now, there are no, um, there isn't permadeath in this, um, per se. But you can mandate it yourself, I guess, as I'm going to do right now by starting a new game. Um, but the fact that the levels are randomly generated, and it is a dungeon crawl, is to me what makes it kind of like a first-person real-time roguelike, although not a very diverse one. Um, it's, they're pretty simple dungeons and simple situations. Nonetheless, let's try a new game. As you can see, there are three difficulties. On casual, if you die, all the golden experience you collected to that point, you keep, but you, uh, you start the level over. On normal, if you die, you lose everything you've done on that level, but you start the level over. On hardcore, I think the same is true, except for it's just tougher in general. Can't play hardcore even if we wanted to because uh, you have to beat it on normal first. All right, let's yes, let's override the save game. All right, we have strength, which uh, increases our melee attack damage. Um, endurance, which reduces our health loss instead of just providing us more hit points. And agility increases movement and attack speed. We have a melee weapon, which is a uh, hatchet, does 25 damage up to a range of 2.5 meters, and we have no ranged weapon. Let us begin. Now on each level, there's only one type of monster. It does change per level. I've only made it to the second level, but on this first level, we're facing what I what I presume to be kobolds. You'll see a lot of features like barrels and such. These things do nothing. You can't interact with them in any way. They're just decorative. Let's start walking around. Here we found our first key. On dungeon level one, the keys are always surrounded by a lake of lava, which you have to jump across. If you uh, fall in that lava, you instantly die. It's not hard to jump across it, but uh, the consequence for failure is so drastic that it nevertheless makes me nervous. <laughs> Here's our first enemy. One of those things I, I think is a kobold. Let me fit, kill it and I'll talk to you about it afterwards. There you go. Um, when I first started playing this game, I don't play it much. I've been playing it the last few days to try to record the videos for you. Um, that's food. Note that the food here is untextured. Literally, it's just a white block, except for the soup. On the second level, that gets fixed. It's a weird glitch. Um, when I first started playing this game, I, I hated it. I really hated it because I couldn't figure out how to kill the damn kobolds. Every time uh, I fought them, they would hurt me. And even though I would end up ultimately killing them, they would hurt me first. And cumulatively, across five or six kobolds that I met, I would die. Um, it turns out the key is you have to back off like that. You have to... Goad them into swinging at you, and then get out of the way. Um, then you can swing back. Gold. 
um, with the kobolds on this level, if you dodged back once, whether by stepping back or jumping back like I've been doing, you let them swing, you step in, you attack, you can just attack twice and that'll kill them every time. Um, you don't have to uh, worry about any more timing issues as long as you make sure you're hitting them fast and hard. I, I shouldn't say hard, I guess. There's no control over that, but aside from what weapon you're using. but Hitting them fast, don't miss. Here's the downstairs. We can't unlock it till we have more keys. We have three. There's a monster coming. Oh, there he is. The music does change as they approach, so that's why I knew he was coming. Here's the stairs we need, but if you look in the left side of the screen, we need we have we need eight keys. We only have three so far. Alright, another key here. We also want to explore the entirety of the level, especially this first level is pretty easy. Um, we want all the gold there is, and we want all the experience there is for killing these guys, although they might regenerate eventually, in which case you could grind on a level. If you really wanted to do it in one life, that would be the way to do it, but uh, that would be awful boring. So we won't be doing that. When we have explored the entire level and have all the keys, then we'll move on. Unless we are severely injured, in which case we'll go looking for food. <laughs> or we've already found it, you know. Yeah, simple maneuver of close, back off quickly, and then move back in and kill them is is the key to dealing with them. Um, and without that knowledge, this game is impossibly difficult. And that knowledge has come by experimentation, obviously. It might be on... Is that also on me? That's yellow. I can't tell if that's uh, also untextured or not. The food for sure is right now. So I'm going to look at a few different games, I think, over the next few days. If I, if I can get Twitch to cooperate with the faulty freaking cable lines. They promised me it would take two days or so to fix. But I haven't heard back from them, so I'm just risking this. Because don't. there's no video going up today as of yet. Because I haven't been able to get this out. And I can't use a keyboard. Um, so hopefully... Hopefully this works. But it is my intention to look at a few different games that are roguelike in nature on the Xbox. I know I keep switching themes on the Xbox. I was doing all zombie games, but hey, I get bored of certain things sometimes. I don't feel like doing more zombie games. I feel like doing more roguelike e games. This is one of the few I have that qualifies. It's also a very rare game. I don't think most people would play it. It's very cheap. I got it for like 99 cents back in the day on the Xbox. Um, here, press start to uh, look at your map. I think it freezes the game when you do based on the fact that the sound stops. Um, yeah, I got it for like 99 cents. So if you have an Xbox, you can probably find it for about that price. Um, if it interests you. I have no idea how deep it goes. I'm going to guess maybe 8 or 10 levels, but I don't know. As I said, I've only made it to second level. In the video I recorded for you yesterday, it was just a bit too scrambled. Um, we got down to the, the second level boss and died his hands. Make sure you have him accidentally backed against a wall. You're going to try to retreat and discover that you can't. Also be careful they don't tag team you. Once in a while there's one behind you as well and you haven't realized it and you're in trouble then. They hit for about 12 or 15 damage, I don't know, something like that. The food, if you eat it, heals, at least on the first level, I assume on every level, heals only about 6 health as well, so you know, it takes a lot of food to recover from a single hit. And for multiple hits, it can be very difficult. We have all the keys we need. Let's just find the last of the treasure. So we can get a... Uh, you know, purchase the maximum stuff when we leave. Oh. There are other monsters in the game. It's just this first level that's only kobolds. But as far... Whoa, fuck. There you go. Whoa. 
gotta go back and get some food. <laughs> Let's move forward for food first in case there's some in the hallway here. There's some. Fucking Christ. We were doing fine to this point. Another one. Oh, he's still alive, that's all. Well, now we gotta find even more food. We, won't, we have enough laying around. It's just pain in the ass. Six, ninety-one. Each of these dudes is worth ten experience. If you haven't noticed, I'm not sure how much gold. Maybe it's a hundred gold per find. I don't know. I haven't really noticed. We currently have twelve hundred, so it seems to be a multiple of ten with each find. All right, back to full health. Finding the last of the gold, and we'll get out of here. And get some experience as well while we go. Want at least 200 experience to properly level up as well. I will have it, though. The end boss is worth 50. Alright, are there any more chests we might have missed? Yes. Let's go back where we came. I don't know if... They, I couldn't tell if there were chests on that map, but I can tell there's an unexplored area. To our left. Whoops. Damn it. I want treasure, guys. Okay, that's it. We've explored the whole area, which means we want to go to the exit, which is right in front of us. Let's go down and face the boss. The boss is handled the same way. Maybe you just can just keep hitting them, just like the just like the kobolds. Maybe if you dodge them once, you can keep hitting them. It's looking that way. Ah, there we go. Okay, just like the kobolds, dodge them once, you can just kill them off. So we finished out level one, guys. In a little less than ten minutes. Killed nineteen enemies. Earned, tw uh, sorry, uh, two hundred thirty experience. Collected thirteen hundred gold. My last one, I know, I killed twenty one enemies. So they may they may respawn, as I said. So we have some money or some experience to spend. I'm not sure how best to spend it, to be honest with you. My first game I played that I got to hear, I put it all into endurance. It didn't help much. I could put it all into agility, or I could put it into agility and strength. I don't know. I think I'm going to do that. Agility and strength. Let's upgrade our... Um, so we'll do a little bit more damage, and we'll be a little faster, and we'll attack a little faster. Uh, let's also get a better weapon. We have our hatchet. We can't afford a ranged weapon. If you look here... There's a crossbow available, but it costs 10,000 gold. There's a bow available that costs 18,000 gold. We haven't got anywhere near enough. We could, however, upgrade this to the mace for 1,000 gold. Can't get the next one up from that. So let's get the mace. Uh, there's 35 damage instead of 25, out to a range of 2.8 meter. Unlock. Oops. All right, let's resume the game. <laughs> I'm screwing this up. Let's do this. We already got it, right? It's now ready to go. Yes. Alright. Here we are with our mace. And look, the architecture has changed. That's one small thing they did pretty well in this game. It looks It's, it's nice that it looks different. Um, I, I wasn't expecting that. The game has a bit of a cheap, rushed feel to it. <laughs> but then again, it's like a 99-cent game, so... 
whatever. And it does fill a bit of a niche. There's no other game quite like this with a first-person roguelike experience on the Xbox. So once again, they've, they've cornered the market on an idea. I want to show you this as well. Look at this. Uh, the keys are still here. We still need nine of them now. But um, different method of dealing with a trap, you know? you got to dodge between the flames. Not that hard. And it doesn't instantly kill you if it hits you, but it sure does a lot of damage. Here's another one. Different monster on this level, too. We'll see in a second. I don't like this. This looks like a... Oh, here's the uh, doorway we ultimately need to get out. I haven't met a monster yet. This is really weird. Makes me nervous. They're all going to show up and tag to me at once. This green shit doesn't hurt you. You can walk right through it. It's just decorative. It's a chest, at least. It's got to be a monster down here. See, look at that. The food's textured now. Isn't that weird? Little bug. Where the hell are all the monsters? This is really weird. On this level, there are goblins instead of kobolds. Um, they you, you deal with them basically the same, but you at least at this stage with this these particular stats and this weapon, we do not have enough. Uh, we can't kill them with like you can't dodge them once and then kill them with two blows. You gotta dodge them once, hit them, dodge again, hit them, and sometimes two hits is enough to kill them. Sometimes three. They sometimes even with a mace, it's, it's kind of variable. I don't know if it's because the mace does variable damage. It doesn't seem to according to what it wrote on that page. Or if it's because uh, they are they have varying toughness, I don't know. We already got this thing? We already got this one, didn't we? Oh, this is where we started, this way. Let's go this way. Damn it. I was trying to keep an eye on the experience to see how much they're worth. That's what I was, I was out of the corner of my eye watching that, and I didn't quite. So we have 66 right now. Fuck. Alright, let's go back the way we can. We got 78, so we're up to, uh... It's only worth 12, it looks like. Oh, that's 12, not only. They're worth 12. Whereas the kobolds are worth 10. Let's go back and find all of the food that we found so far. It's not a lot, but we need every... Oh, fuck. See, that link took three. The timing is not hard here, but, uh... Yeah, every once in a while they catch me off guard and they, they nail me. I'm not quite sure why. I'm not sure what I do wrong that invites that disaster. That gave us 16, did it? Oh, it's much better now. 72. It was only six on the first level. Uh, We're heading in a direction we haven't been before. We don't want to do that, do we? Head back the route we've taken before to make sure we find the same food that we may have found before. Hope this is recording properly, man. It's doing better than it was a few days ago where it would just literally conk out mid recording, but I don't know. Alright, I don't think I'm going to find any more out here. I think this is back where we were, isn't it? Let's do a quick look over here. Oh. All right. Chest. Have some food, baby. Yes. Nicely textured food. One more will do it. Gold. Yeah, it wasn't textured on the first level either. Fuck, you got me. Another guy coming behind him. Food, 84. One more will definitely do it exactly. Money, who wants money?
Alright, now we need a couple more foods. Alright, four keys, we got five to go. This game also seems to record a little dark. Um, if you're noticing it being really dark, it's not quite that dark on my screen. It's dark, for sure. It's meant to be gloomy and such. But uh, when I watched back the video I did yesterday of this, it uh, was absurdly dark. So we'll see how that turns out. Again, assuming the video isn't just, like, scrambled all to hell. Not getting Roger's cable. Notice the music was still going. I was just reaching for coffee, too. <laughs> Alright, three more keys. That's all it'll take. Yeah, when I first played this, I was really not... I really did not like it, but it's, it's grown on me. It's got, um... <clears throat> like, there's something about it that makes me want to beat it. It doesn't seem like it'd be that hard to beat. It's a pretty simplistic game, but it's... It's got its charm. And for a buck, you can't really argue. You know? This is not a triple-A title, by any means. I'd be pretty pissed off if I spent 60 bucks on this. But for a dollar, so be it. Fuck. Fuck you. I gotta find even more food, damn it. Yeah, make sure you don't fall for the ruse that two hits is gonna kill them. Every once in a while you get into that rhythm where you've killed a bunch of them in a row with two hits and you're like, oh, this is gonna kill them. And it doesn't, and you are dead. If we find more health soon, we are going to be fucked, because I'm not going to be able to face the end boss with this little health. I don't know if there's more out there or not. I think we've explored most places. All it takes is one or two fuck-ups and you can spoil the game, that's for sure. Although, again, if you're playing the way you're supposed to play, if we died on this level, we'd simply lose all progress on this level. We'd start over at the beginning as if we hadn't done this yet. Which, when I'm not recording, I'll probably do, because I want to see the full game through. At least get a feel for it before I ever try a straight permadeath run, if I ever decide to. There's nothing in that, right? Yeah. Where am I going? Whoops. Oh, there's a little bit more hope here. Not a lot. Some here. Come on, find me some food. Nothing. How about down here? Find me some food. There's a chest. There's promise. Food. Damn it. Treasure is going to get me killed. I need food. <laughs> Come on, baby. Find me some food. Papa wants some new carbohydrates. Oh, do you not have a key yet? I don't have this one yet. That particular music crescendo is not a monster approaching. That's just... So it's a monster... The music, rather, is just... Uh, temperamental like that. It just gets all surgy. I'm not sure if it happens when you're approaching a key. It seems to a lot.
Come on, for the love of Christ. I ask for so little. Erg. Fuck. Really fucked that up. It's because I'm worried about fire behind me. I'm not sure if it's... I guess I wasn't in actual danger from that. Well, we're down to 24 health, guys. Even fine. Oh, there's a lot of chests. There's a lot of potential here. Alright, that helps. Back up to 40. Shit. Let's kill him first. Damn it. Fuck your treasure. Jesus, no. Be food. Damn it. We're wealthy beyond our wildest dreams and we're not going to live to uh, spend it. That's probably about it. That's it. Alright, we're taking our shitty, we're taking our shitty, shitty money and going to, uh, going to the exit where we'll probably die. I mean, maybe we'll beat the boss. But I imagine this will be it. The boss is like an armored kobold, as far as I can see. I experienced him yesterday once. Um, it seems like you can jump back from him and then hit him a few times at least, but I don't know if you can just perpetually hit him. I tried to do that and it didn't work out so hot. But I'm not sure if I missed or something. So I don't know, but you can at least hit him twice when you've jumped back from him. <clears throat> Fingers crossed, guys. A little more coffee to heighten the reflexes. Ah, nothing can stop us now. With a fine, bold taste of Folgers in our mouth. Alright, here we go. You see him right there. As soon as we open this gate, we're going to get stuck in. We can open it. It doesn't matter. He doesn't come for us until we step inside, and then it shuts behind us. I don't know. We'll do our best. What are we going to do? Other than that, you know? He's got me. All right. Well, I tried. <laughs> there you go. That was about a 30-minute mark. Let's hope that that, um... Let's hope that that, you know, recorded for you. If I were to continue, I'd be on level 2 with none of the gains of that level. But we're not going to do that. Uh, I just wanted to show you that game. That's Crypt of the Serpent King. If you've got an Xbox, it's not bad, actually. I'm kind of enjoying it. For for a buck, I'm actually glad I got it now, now that I've succumbed to its limited charms. Um, if this recorded, if, it's, if it goes up, I will be back with more Xbox videos over the next few days. If it's also scrambled, I may just give up on the chase, and you'll never see this or hear this. So why I'm telling you, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll see. A uh, combination problem of the arms and the the cable lines may mean there are no videos for me for a few days, and that would just suck for me. Um, Alright, I'm out of here. Have a good one, guys. Bye.